Hello everybody, it's Rick back. Basically part two of what I was talking about. Um, so the uh, the writ of quo warranto. Now, you remember we're we're asking a judge. Now, by the way, you know uh, you could go to a court and they hold these. Um, it depends from state to state. Uh, they're under special proceedings in New York State. They're under uh, Article 78, and what it, you know, it's un, in, 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 uh, under the United States Code. It's a uh, 28 uh, Section 1651, uh, 28 Section 16 are writs. And remember, remember, I keep telling you guys that uh, what I believe in doing, I like to go after the support order. My whole thing from the beginning was I was always saying that these, the support order was a forgery. It's not valid. Okay, it's on a piece of paper. It looks like a court order. And on the bottom, enter. And and I noticed, like in New York State, it's signed by the uh, support magistrate and that's it. It's not signed by a, a, a clerk and it's not uh, entered in the clerk's office as and there's like three or four uh, laws that say it's supposed to now if they don't follow those procedures like do right let's break it down do not do do d-u-e do process a do process something that's supposed to happen that authenticates that document Here's the slick, the slick move. They don't do it because they know it's a fraud. They know that they're depriving you of your rights. Remember what I was talking about, the trial by jury. Not a jury trial, trial by jury. So I noticed, uh, you know, I'm helping a few people. They sent me their paperwork, and I right away, you know what I do? I ask them, send me, um, send me your paperwork so I can look at it. I'm telling you. Everyone that I've seen, it's a scam. So now it's like uh, some states are a little more, they tr- it's a little more legit. Like it, like New York State, it's a complete fraud. I mean, you got a fake judge called the support, mag- like support magistrate. It sounds like a judicial name, doesn't it? It's a bullshit name. And the definitions, it says non-judicial court employee. And he or she is employed under the executive agency. They work for the court administration. But, Your Honor, stand, all this bullshit. And they're issuing uh, these support orders. And I, you know, I, I went and looked up the, uh, uh, the where they get their power, the support magistrate in New York State. They get it, uh, Family Court Act 439. It says, any determination must be accompanied by a uh, judge's confirmation. You know what that is? That's a judicial review. Remember the expedited processes, 45 CFR, 303.101. It's required to have due process. What's required due process? Judicial review. So now, if you have a, a, a supposed support order, that is saying that you have to pay child support, but it's not authenticated by a judicial signature. It's an incomplete written instrument. It's lacking a a, a process. Now, under 28 USC, section 1691, remember before the old writ section, the writ of quo warranto goes under 1651, uh, all writs, coming from a court in the United States. Orders are writs, guys. Anything with instruction is a writ. Under 1691, all writs must be accompanied by a signature from the clerk. A clerk is a judicial officer. They have, they, they have a lot of power. Remember I tell you these judges are, 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 masking, a, are masking a raid as clerks. And I stole that from another YouTube channel, but he's right. Um, so, 
Uh, and I have the case law. Scan B, S C A N B E, Manufacturing Company, verse Tryon, T R Y O N. That's it. Just put those in there. Keyword, it comes right up. 1968, clear as day. The Court of Appeals said that uh, any uh, the, the, the writ was signed by a deputy clerk. A deputy clerk is not a judicial officer. Now, remember I was telling you before, this is what led me here. Uh, the people that I'm helping, they show me their supposed orders from a judge. And it's not signed by a clerk. It's signed by a deputy clerk. It's not a judicial instrument. And another thing. It's not recorded in the clerk's office. It doesn't exist. It's just a piece of paper. But they got you going through this whole masquerade. It's a scam. Right? It's a confidence game. So they got you go they got you going into this hearing and you think it's legit. You got a, a person on a support hearing. You could be in front of a judge. But where's your jury? It's an incomplete process, it's a due process. Where is that jury? So guys, I'm giving you a good lesson here. Now, the validation of debt. Here's the scam. They claim, well, uh, the court is ordering us. To, but how can the court be ordering them if the, the court order is not legit? It's a void judgment. You see? They got you spinning around. Now, the, the court will issue... Uh, uh, a support order because they claim uh, that the, the child support enforcement agency claims that you owe them money. And then you go to the, the, the then you go to the support agency and you go, listen, I need you to validate my debt. And then they go, well, the uh, the court of appeals says we don't have to validate the debt because uh, a court ordered debt is not a debt. <laughs> a debt is a debt. They got you spinning. But if the court order is not real, you got them. It's a, it, it, that's, why I'm, that's why my paperwork eliminates these things. Because I chop all of this stuff out. I put that in my paperwork. What if you didn't put this stuff? You could be just exchanging this stuff for months with these people. So I eliminate these things. Now, the writ of quo warento... You, you got to go to a court of proper jurisdiction. And I'm going to be doing this soon. I'm not done with my case. Like, I could guarantee you this. When I do go back to federal court, which is going to be pretty soon, with my donation money, because it's $400 to file a... I don't want to get to a car accident here. Uh, it's $400 to file a case. But next time I go there, I'm going to make sure... They have jurisdiction because it's a that's their fucking scam. They take your money, they walk away, and they're like, okay, like they make you believe like they're, they're checking with somebody. And they don't. This time I'm gonna be like, oh, can you do me a favor? Can you take this paperwork up to a judge and make sure that we have jurisdiction before I give you four hundred dollars? Now the way I look at it, if you're gonna take my four hundred dollars and you claim and you don't have jurisdiction, give me my fucking money back. You're not providing me a service. First of all, first of all they're not supposed to, be char supposed to be charging you anyway. But from what I understand, these um, these judges haven't. They, they all retire millionaires because they uh, they have a nice trust set up where all these court fees that you're not supposed to be charged for. Because think about it. Let's say you, somebody commits a crime against you on the street. And when you go to the police department, you got to give them money to file a report? No. So why do you got to file a fee when you go to court? The fee is a, it was created. See, how they, 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 they manipulate, manipulate, excuse me, manipulate the, um, the laws. They take a law that's supposed to apply to a small group of people and they apply it to everybody. So the fees were originally for lawyers. Because lawyers, they're not the um, they're not the complainant. The lawyer is representing the complainant, so they're filing the papers, they're filing the pleadings. But they just apply it to everybody. So supposedly that money, the fees and everything, which you know adds up, 
goes into a nice trust, and uh, it's given to these judges, from what I understand. Also, I heard um, uh, traffic fines and fees. They go uh, um, into a nice trust for these little judges. I told you guys this story before. But I'm, what I'm doing is I'm showing you, how, I'm telling you these stories and my little anecdotes and my comparisons uh, to show you what it's all about. It's all about money. They don't give a shit about you. Um, but anyway, getting back to the writ of quo warranto, I'm going to go to um, to the to the federal court, and and I'm going to go to the state court too, and I'm going to demand that these child support people show up. And provide evidence uh, of authority. Where, uh, why are you collecting this money from me? Oh, the uh, the court says we can. Okay, well, where's the court order? Uh, objection, Your Honor. That's not a court order. Now, in my video, if anybody watches my video, the judge said to me, he goes, "Well, you are the court order. The fam the order was entered." I go, "Sir, no, it wasn't." And there was a lot of whispering between him and his, you know, he's got his, these judges got their own little attorneys for them. And I go, sir, Family Court Act 460, it's got to be, uh, it's got to be entered with the, it's got to be signed by the clerk and entered in the clerk's office. And guess what happened? He knew it. I, you know, I had him there. And I'm like, there's no, there's no uh, uh, judgment entered with the clerk's office. Okay. That's why they don't want you in court. That's why they do everything they can to keep you out of court. They want. Oh, by the way, you know, I tried to, <laughs> I tried to get back in front of that judge. He, that wasn't happening again. You know, I think they sometimes they underestimate you. That's why it's important that you know you guys got to put the work in. There's no shortcuts here. You got to learn, you know, how to how to. You, know, you got to learn your subject. Like when I was in court, and here's the thing. You know, yeah, I was a cop. Yeah. But by the way, if you watch the videos, you notice I'm not reading off any piece of paper. I'm going strictly from here because I know my subject. I know my case because I'm typing the paperwork. I get it memorized. So when you keep writing your, your paperwork up, you're memorizing. It's re repetition, repetition, repetition. So, you know, you got to know this stuff. That's why, like, yeah, my paperwork will work. But you got to know the subject. I had a... You know, some guy I was exchanging emails with, and another one, another slickster that, you know, is is uh, picking my brain and everything. But he he was totally out to lunch. Not not mentally. His, he was uh, his research was leading him somewhere. That he was totally out of the. He he was, <laughs> and I wasn't going to correct him because I know what he was trying to do. He was just trying to pick my brain, and and you know. And doesn't want to give me a donation. Now, you, a lot of a lot of people have been with me a while. You know how I roll, guys. I helped a lot of people. This is just a new a new phenomenon with me asking for a little bit of money. Okay, because I, you know, if you're good at something, as I keep saying, I'm very good at doing research. I got the experience, and it's well worth it. And you're not getting ripped off. Okay, and you might even learn something. And you know. You got to go in with this understanding that no one can tell you to do anything. That's why this ridicule warrant, you're like, where did you get this authority to tell me to do anything? Anything. You can't tell me to do anything unless I broke a law. Where is the evidence that I broke a law that there's an injured party? You claim I owe a debt for child support. Where is the proof of the debt? Where is it? You can't show me. So that's the reason why they won't let you have a trial by a jury. So, you know, I would go there and listen, my, uh, my paperwork is available. I just completed interrogatories today. Another powerful weapon. Okay, remember I keep telling you, we're boxing these people and giving them nowhere to go. When I was with that judge, I gave them nowhere to go. All right, listen, I got to shut this down. I've been blabbering long enough. I hope you learned something. Have a good night.